It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Cuba here. And today I'm gonna do something different. I'm neither here with a theory or a lore video. Instead, I'm going to make you really uncomfortable by showing you the biggest plot hole in the God of War series, the Blades of Chaos. This plot hole does not need any explanation to original God of War fans. They know exactly what I'm talking about. But for those of you who are new fans of the series after the release of God of War 4, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The Blades of Chaos should not be in God of War 4 because Kratos lost them at the end of God of War 1. During the fight with Ares, the God of War used an odd magic attack and sent Kratos to a different realm altogether. In here, he took the Blades of Chaos and killed his family again. Once Kratos returned to Athens, he no longer had his blades, so he had to get creative and took a bridge in the shape of a sword to kill Ares. After this, Athena made him the God of War and gave him a set of new blades called the Blades of Athena. For the entirety of Ghost of Sparta and God of War 2, Kratos used those blades, but once Kratos fell in the river Styx, the blades had lost all of their power so Athena changed them into the Blades of Exile. These are the blades that Kratos should have in God of War 4, not the Blades of Chaos. Now back when I started making videos for YouTube, I made a theory video explaining why Kratos had the Blades of Chaos in God of War 4 instead of the Blades of Exile. You can watch the video if you want, but prepare yourself to cringe. Essentially I said once Kratos arrived in Scandinavia, he realized that leaving the Blades of Chaos alone was dangerous, because someone like Artemis might take them and use them for evil. So he went back to Greece to retrieve the blades and then brought them back. This is absolutely wrong, because the novel never says Kratos took such a trip to Greece. Instead, the novel says that after Kratos killed Zeus, he picked up the blades and started wandering the earth. From this line in the novel, God of War fans have come up with a really interesting theory. The theory states that Kratos has always wielded the Blades of Chaos. The same way Athena changed the Blades of Athena to the Blades of Exile, she must have done the same thing to the Blades of Chaos back in God of War 1. So the reason we see the Blades of Chaos in God of War 4 is because the Blades of Exile have lost all of their power and have returned to its original form, which would be the Blades of Chaos. I really, really like this theory. But sadly, there's evidence that this theory is not correct. In the God of War 2 novel, there's a sentence that proves that Blades of Chaos and the Blades of Athena are two different sets of blades. This is what it says. Kratos dismissed the Blades of Chaos and clutched the Blades of Athena, more powerful weapons than any mortal could ever wield. But he was not a mortal now. He had destroyed Ares and was now the God of War. This small section of the novel seems to indicate that after Kratos defeated Ares, he picked up the Blades of Chaos and brought them to his throne room, but never used them again because Athena had given him a better set of blades. Now, if the God of War 4 novel had a small sentence that said, Kratos went back to his throne room to collect the Blades of Chaos, I would not be here making this video. But sadly, that's not the case. Now, I could stop the video right now, and you would be sad enough that there's such a huge plot hole in this series we love so much. But it gets even worse. When it comes to the Blades, God of War 4 went as far as changing past events completely. You remember that awesome scene in God of War 3 where Kratos lets go of the Blades of Exile and decides to kill Zeus with its own hands? Of course you do, it's an amazing moment. Now, God of War 4 depicted the same scene in Helheim, but changed one crucial detail. Kratos no longer wields the Blades of Exile, instead he's holding the Blades of Chaos. And honestly, this makes me really, really mad. As I said before, this is no longer a plot hole or a bad retcon. This is simply bad continuity of the story. Kratos did not wield the Blades of Chaos when killing Zeus. He had the Blades of Exile, as you see in this clip. So how is it that the writers made such a big mistake when it came to this detail? Well, I don't think it was a mistake at all. If the writers had kept the Blades of Exile in God of War 4, this moment would not have been as emotional. The reason God of War fans love this moment so much is because they know what the Blades of Chaos are. You know what they represent. When I saw this moment for the first time, I remember how the Blades of Chaos were brutally seared into Kratos' arms, or how he used them to kill his own family. The last thing Kratos wants to do is put them on, but he has to because his son's life is at stake. This moment would have made zero sense if Kratos was putting on the Blades of Exile instead. Because let's be honest, 
Lore-wise, the Blades of Exile are pretty disappointing. Sadly, this meant Santa Monica would have to sacrifice the continuity of the story in order to give us this emotional moment. In other words, Santa Monica wants you to forget the Blades of Athena and the Blades of Exile ever existed. Now, was this move worth it? I would still say yes, because most people will never know about this plot hole. But sadly, people like me and everyone who watches this video will be forever uncomfortable with this unsolvable plot hole in this story. I say unsolvable because I can't think of a way to reconcile these two takes on the Blades. Maybe the comic book Fallen God will try to do so, but as of this moment, we don't even know when it's coming out. So instead of asking you to leave your theories in the comment section, I'm gonna ask you to try and reconcile the sentence from the novel, the Blades of Exile clearly existing in God of War 3, and the cutscene in Helheim which says they didn't. Good luck! Now before I go, I wanna share with you an amazing deal from this video sponsor, Into the AM. Now I'm not gonna claim that if you wear their attire, all of your problems are gonna go away or anything like that. I wouldn't lie to you. Sadly, you still need to do taxes. But I do wanna say that if you need some new clothes, make sure to check out their catalog. I have two of their t-shirts and I absolutely love them. They are soft, comfortable, and breathable. The three most important aspects to a t-shirt. They also sell joggers, hoodies, hats, anything you need in terms of clothes, they probably have it. And the good news is that, if you use my special code, CAPTEASCUBA, you'll receive 10% off on any purchase you make. I'll leave all the links in the description of the video and at the top of the comment section. Again, you still have to do taxes, but you can do them in really comfortable and cool looking clothes. With that said, I want to thank all of my members for their continued support of the channel. People like Steven Reeves, Iverson, and Drome Arrow, to name a few, are the reason why I'm able to stay home and work in these videos. So from the bottom of my heart, you have my thanks. I would also like to thank all of my loyal subscribers for liking and sharing my videos. This channel would be nowhere without your support. And with that said, thanks for watching. And remember, go forth in the name of Ragnarok.